The Screen Actors Guild recommending productions remain closed. Hollywood to remain closed. They want it to stay closed for at least two more weeks. Jeff Seeker, our entertainment guy of the morning. Jeff, what are these people thinking? There's already an exodus of actors and film production out of Hollywood. What do they want to close it down some more for? Well, here's the problem, Stuart. You know, California has truly become the People's Republic of California. So regulation is the name of the game. And Gavin Newsom and his cohorts are big into regulation. So the Screen, Screen Actors Guild that represents 160,000 members made a decision to, to, to halt production primarily because they don't want to bring the liability on a lot of these companies that are filming in Hollywood. So there's, as you said before, Stuart, there has been an exodus out of Hollywood going back years, years, where filmmakers, producers, directors found that they could go to places like Budapest or Prague or New Zealand and make films for a fraction of the cost. Now they're gonna impose heavy regulations, heavy restrictions, and they're going to do it in the guise of protecting actors, but in reality, they're just driving more and more of these film companies overseas, and it's going to really hurt those 250,000 people who are a part of the creative economy of California. Why should it come back? I mean, if they've got this exodus already in progress, going to other states and other countries, why would they come back? I mean, what hope is there for Hollywood to reemerge as a center of production? Well, Hollywood, what the state of California does is they throw the film industry crumbs in these, these tax incentives, but they so highly regulate them and make it so expensive with the unions and everything else and, you, and finding sound stages. The, the only incentive for them to come back is what every actor and producer and director wants, most want, is they want to film in the U.S. They want to film in their backyard, but California can't get it together. It'll cost you just a million dollars. It'll cost you about a million dollars just to adhere to the COVID protocol to make a film. If you're a big film, you could afford that, but if you're a normal film, that is a lot, a lot of money to spend. You know, Jeff, back in the day, not that long ago, you said you recommended Bitcoin. You said buy that thing. I believe at the time it was about 5,000 bucks. Well, now it's $32,000. And you said it would go to 30K. All right, forget history. You give me a prediction. Where's it going from here? Well, first of all, when I said that it was when it was under 5,000, I knew that when the financial institutions embraced it, the floodgates would be open. Where I see it from here, I see it at 40,000. I think what this is, what Bitcoin is showing us is first off, people have lost faith in government and they don't trust central banks. They're plowing money into Bitcoin to get it away from the, the, the erosion of the US dollar. They wanna protect their buying power. So you'll see more institutions plowing in it and it's gonna move up. But take your motion sickness pills because this <laughs> is going to be a wild ride. Yeah, Dramamine is my kind of thing. All yeah. right, Jeff, thanks very much indeed. We'll see you again soon.